Three weeks of fighting have killed more than a thousand people. The violence has also slashed oil output and left the world's youngest state on the brink of civil war. Reports of gunshots in the capital Juba on Sunday and rumors of a rebel advance have stoked fears among the city's residents. President Salva Kiir's SPLA government forces are battling rebels loyal to former Vice President Riek Mashar. Fighting in and around the strategic town of Bor in oil-rich Jonglei state has also intensified. Western and regional powers are pressing for a peace deal. Both warring factions have committed to a ceasefire, but neither side has said when they would lay down their weapons. Up until Friday, talks in the Ethiopian capital Addis Ababa were conducted by mediators. However, teams representing both factions are now holding face-to-face -face negotiations. The key issues to be hammered out are the establishment of a ceasefire and the rebels' demand for the release of what they call political prisoners, a call that's being backed by the United States and European Union. Kier accuses the detainees of involvement in what he alleges was a coup attempt led by Mashar. So far, delays and disagreements over talks have dampened hopes for a swift end to the fighting. Sudanese President Omar Hassan al-Bashir is expected to meet with President Kier in Juba on Monday to discuss the crisis, which has driven more than 200,000 people from their homes. Clementine Logan, CCTV.